We finally discovered edible matter. After close analysis, my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious. I've never tasted anything like that on Kopai. We need to continue our search. If there is more to be had, we should have it. Right, let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit and absolutely nothing else. We need the Cosmic Drive Key. We can't get home without that. Right, let's focus our all of our energy on retrieving the fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. The captain! We still need to find the captain as well. Right. So, we'll just get the food, the captain, and the key. Not in that order. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? What's that signal coming from? Or, what is that signal... No, wait, I had it. What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain that I just forgot about. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. <laughs> hey, everybody on YouTube. This is Super Nintendo. Welcome to another episode of Pikmin 3. Last time, we made actually a lot of progress. We found Brittany. We discovered a... Discovered. We discovered a new type of Pikmin. And we made... Uh, the Red Pikmin, a lot of brothers, children, whatever. We made a lot of Red Pikmin. Uh, before we go over to uh, the Garden of Hope, let's check in. Alf, why did you want to be part of this mission? Because I wanted to meet the legendary ranger, Captain Charlie. Really? Is that the only reason? Not because you wanted to help save Kopai? No, that too. But, you know, there are so many legends out there about the captain's heroism. I mean, there's the legendary Operation Rubber Ducky Stucky. And Operation Rubber Ducky Up a Tree. And not to mention Operation Beached Rubber Ducky. Well, I can see that you are... I can see that you definitely did your research, Al. <laughs> okay, okay, that that is hilarious. But um, here here's what I got last time I did this in my previous recording. <laughs> oh boy, that 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 one was better though. I think. So uh, you know, let's land. Operation Rubber Ducky Up a Tree. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I can talk about this. Uh, throughout the day, the uh, throughout different days, uh, you might get a different thing of weather. Here, it's raining, but yesterday it was completely sunny. Um, as far as I can tell, that's randomized. Uh... Before anything else, I just want to check and see. Nope, okay. We didn't have any rock Pikmin on the premises, so uh, what we're going to do is take out 30. Oh, we don't have 30. Um, Alright, we'll take out all of our rocks and as many reds as possible. And, uh... Head towards the place. I should show this, by the way. Um, if you ever want to collect these things, but you don't want to read them, just throw a captain at it. And it will be in your list. So, unless it's something important, that's what I'm going to do. Because I do not want to read these things, and I don't want them breaking up the flow of the video. The videos... I really wish we had more flowers. The signal must be coming from up there. By the way, the uh, flowers, I should mention this, Pikmin have three stages of life. Flower, bud, and leaf. 
Flower Pikmin are significantly more powerful and faster and make fewer mistakes. Leaf Pikmin are essentially the babies. Huh? What's a data file doing all the way out here? My search for treasure continues with no luck, but I can't fly back home to Hokotate without procuring a few more priceless artifacts. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So, if anyone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Captain Olimar. Captain Olimar? I can't say I've heard of him, but he's from Hokite, eh? It's not far from Kopai. Strange planet. I've heard that Hokitashians will do anything to get their hands on treasure. And they eat vegetables, too. How bizarre. Poor fellow. Sounds like he ran into trouble up ahead. Okay, um, I don't know why I... Nah, I'll, I'll keep out. I'll keep Brittany. I wonder what hollowed this out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Move out of the way! Meet the Armored Maudad! The first boss of Pikmin 3. What you want to do is switch over to your Rock Pikmin, chop off its tail, and as much space as you can. Because... Ow, ow, ow. Get up, get up, get up. Um, so you can, uh... The reason why we want a lot of Red Pikmin is so we can have as many of them latch onto the thing as possible. And apparently there's one Pikmin out there who is not listening to me, but whatever. Holy crap! Holy crap! So, this was um, emanating that signal? But what does this mean for our captain's whereabouts? Uh, I guess for now we'll take this to the Drake for analysis and might be of some use? I, I am very sorry, I, I'm dumbfounded. I beat this thing with... It's not even a quarter of the day. Look, look at that. And we didn't lose a single Pikmin. None of the captains are hurt. I am at a loss. This is the smoothest that's fu that fight has ever gone. I have never had this boss go that smoothly for me. Never. Not once. Every single run of that boss I've ever had, it usually takes up at least half a day. Holy crap. I feel like a god right now. I feel like a god. So we're gonna have the Rock Pikmin take the Armored Maudad back. Um, I guess I could talk about its attacks, because, uh, that thing, basically, if you are dumb, or have a normal run of this boss battle, that thing would, uh, capture Pikmin inside of its pincers, and, um, eat them. And, uh, what you're supposed to do after that is throw rock Pikmin at it to make it stop. 
Um, I lost like a good 20-something Pikmin my first time doing this, and I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to throw, uh, Brittany at it, but, um... Yeah, that, that was... That was a fantastic run. Just... Alright. We're not missing any Pikmin in here, so, uh... The problem is, I don't think we have anything else to do today, so I guess, um... I guess we will just go get any data files that I missed and uh, build up the numbers. Analyzing. We're receiving a transmission from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. It seems to be very old. An ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai and is emanating a signal even now. If I integrate this device into the Drake's communication system, I should be able to boost our strength, signal strength. Looks like it's going to be an all-nighter for me. Yeah, it's going to be an all-nighter for me because, uh... I guess you guys haven't heard this before. Uh, I am currently just a couple of weeks from when this, uh, series is going to, uh, be released, and I am behind schedule. But, this is a shorter game, it's not like Wind Waker, where I need to rush through it, because it's a shorter game. So, like I said, we are going to build up our numbers, uh, mostly rocks, I think we are good on Red Pikmin for a while. Um, you know, because uh, at some point we are going to need a hundred rocks. So, uh, I guess, hmm. No, not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. Not for you. Trying to knock these off while they are uh, round so that we can get double the rock Pikmin numbers for it. And. Gaboosh! Uh, I should show this. Uh, in previous Pikmin games, electricity was an instant kill, so. But here. Point. It, yeah, it just stuns them. So, uh, yeah, it, that's really good. Um, I think we are going to just return all the red Pikmin. And farm up the rocks. Um, uh, nah, well... I don't want to waste time plucking them, so we're just going to, uh, have some reds in our entourage, as, uh, Brittany called it. And there is a data file over there, um, you know, well... I don't think I, I don't think this is spoiling anything, but we are going to be back here, you know, there, you know, because we may have, we may miss some fruits somewhere along the way, but, um, you know. So, one thing I want to show, I, we can show is this. If you ever reach this type of situation where you kill the armor mod ad in less than 20 5% of the day has gone, uh, you can just end the day, and, uh, that'll be it. Still can't believe it.
Oh, that lighting looks so good. to taste the new fruit. Fire-breathing feast. Mmm, that's just making me thirsty. I haven't had dragon fruit. Is it good? I hope it is. Love fruit. I don't eat as I don't eat fruit as much as I probably should, but I do love fruit. We've worked hard today, and now it's time for our reward. You might as well take a second day's worth with how uh, we killed that armored maw dad in that way. I'm sorry, I, I just feel so good about that. It's good to build our juice supply like this. We should be alright for a little while. Still no Pikmin dead after day three, oh my, wow. Uh, I, I feel really good. We've recovered the communication device that was inside the armored maw dad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communication rings. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent, Brittany. So, next time on Pikmin 3, we may possibly head to another location and maybe find the captain, as well as find more fruit. See you guys then! I forgot to do this!